What's up guys, Gums here and welcome back to Pro Cycling Manager 2023 for the final gameplay video of the uh, release week. Today we have a mountain gameplay and there's one team I haven't used yet. It's good old, good old Jumbo. I had to use the Tour de France winner on the Tour de France parkour. I'm trying to just see which stage I'll use, but I'll probably go to Saint-Gervais-Courchevel because this is the almighty Col de la Loz. And, uh, well, it's difficult. So yeah, let's have fun. And by the way, uh, some riders have bad days. Uh, the case of Primoz and Sepkos, my two best mountain um, helpers. But it's an 85 mountain for Jonas Vingor today. I reckon I've got what it takes to win. Um, the Côte de la Loz is a long climb, about 28 kilometers, uh, with a max percent of 20, and they all come at the end of the climb. So we need energy. Um, Meaning I'll protect some of my riders, but in the meantime, I'm also going to pace throughout the day to try and liquidate some of the teammates of riders such as Pogacar, such as um, whoever the Ineos leader is. What's the mountain stats of Egan Bernal? Is he here actually? Yeah, Egan. 78 mountain for Bernal, that's harsh. That's really harsh. Uh, also something I did not know, maybe it was the case before, but because I used keyboard uh, and not most of like most of the time the maps. Uh, if you click on the, the peloton tab on the top left, it selects all of your riders. That's it. That's just uh, something I wanted to share. The good thing about doing this race is that sometimes I can just see some riders and check their stats. For example, Bauke Molema, uh, Tim Sosky's favorite rider, uh, and um, well, unofficial dad, has seventy two mountains. See, that's not nice. That's absolutely uncalled for and not very nice. Also, Clément Champoussin, just like in, uh, which video was it? I don't know, but I know there's one video where he attacks. I think it might have been the Puy de but I don't know. But either way, he's attacking with Nicolas Conchi, and it's going to lead to nothing. We'll soon begin the Col de la Loz. Um, Primoz Roglic was dropped following the, the last climb. Um, yeah, he's really taken badly the minus two. And also, he was badly positioned, and he lost more positions. But that's that's fine. That's, I'll never blame myself for being uh, stupid. Uh, but yeah, we're basing with Von Arts, Samoman, Gaisle Reiser, and Seb Kuss. Uh, sorry, no, and Steven Kroveik. Seb Kuss is protecting Jonas Vingor. Um, we'll maintain that rhythm for as long as we can. And, and, and then we'll see what we do. And just like we've seen in uh, some climbing or ascensions in previous videos, the AI attacks really early with their leaders. Enric Mas, Vlasov, Ben O'Connor, Caruso, sure, David de la Cruz, but it is to be fair, the mountain leader of Astana. It's just a shit team. Uh, but they've attacked at the very beginning of the Code of It's not extremely realistic, and also, I don't think it's really wise. I think it can make the race really simple for you if you just handle the gap. The gap right now of one minute. The one rider that did move, uh, that's Tadej Pogacar. So I guess we're going to have a battle between Jonas Vingor and Tadej. And I'm looking forward to it. Ineos has taken the lead of the peloton through Luke Plapp, uh, Ben Talit and Garen Thomas. We've lost most of our riders. Um, the only riders remaining in the first group are Wilco and Jonas. Um, and also Sam Oman, but I don't really think that cares or that matters. 116 for the lead group as Garen Thomas has attacked. <coughs> Smart play from Ineos. Smart play. Now what does Tade do? Because he's the key to all of this. Final 11 kilometers of the Col de la Loz. 151 for the breakaway. Tadej is not doing anything. There he goes. All right, he was waiting for the uh, attack of uh, Cepeda. I mean, who wouldn't? Who wouldn't? Yeah, expect the gap to go down drastically in favor of the um, of the peloton. Does Tadej counter attack? He does not. So Tadej is just gonna stay in the wheel of everyone without teammates. Okay, that's an interesting tactic. That means that if you've got more than one leader. You can probably attack Tadej until he just gives up if he's got no teammates. But either way, we're going to have to attack with Janez Vingegaard because I've got no energy with the Kelderman. And I guess our time trial up the Col de la Luz begins now. Tadej is going to stay with Landa and Caruso. Maybe quite costly for the Slovenian. Actually, no, Tadej was just not strong today. Tadej has, uh, has, has died. Fair. Fair enough. Uh, we came back on the group v Mass Vlasov. I mean, it was meant to be Mass and O'Connor. It is now Vingegaard on his own 
We'll maintain 70 rhythm until the summit and uh, see if uh, Landa Mas Oben can catch us. Landa seems good. Landismo is alive and kicking, lads. Mas, Ben O'Connor. Not so much. Oh, and Landa goes again. Mikel Landa. Mikel Landa is going to win today. Wow! I did not expect that. Oh, no, he's dead. Well, we're both dead. We both have no energy, but the gaps are already massive. You better have a good day when you play the Colorados because today sits more than, um, let's say, a good, good four minutes. Why can't I right click? Oh, it's so dumb. All right, 4.12, 4.31, in climbing. Mikel Landa has attacked us in the downhill portion. Mikel Landa has attacked us in the downhill portion. Who is this? Well, well then. Jonas Vingo has crashed. Back on the bike he goes, but he's definitely lost the stage. Mikel Landa wins in Courchevel. Well done to him. I did not think he'd stay in my wheel. If I'm being honest, I genuinely did not see him this strong. But it's a Basque win in Courchevel for the Queen stage of this Tour de France. And it's going to be the yellow jersey for Mikel Landa. Okay. But once again, the gap with Tadej, 4 minutes 10, and I did crash. So the gap would have been about 5 minutes. It really shows that if you have a bad day on today's stage, you're going to lose more than just the stage. You're losing everything today. Once again, uh, if we take a look, we don't have a sign of a proper groupetto, uh, but you've got a lot of groups. You've got a group of seven here, a group of 11, a group of 10. Uh, further down the road, you've got another group of 10, then you've got a group of 18, then you find a group of 22, then a group of eight, then a group of seven. So riders do stay somewhat in bunch and they don't like pace each other or attack each other, um, which, which clearly helps for uh, the ambitions of um, well, finishing within the time delays. Um, now, yeah, actually, we'll take a look if there's any issues with the time delays on this stage, knowing that I paced throughout most of the stage. Despite the rhythm, everyone finished within the one hour, and uh, within, therefore, the one hour and ten minutes of the um, of the time limits. Uh, lots of groups, but yeah, the gaps are massive. Bernal losing 8 minutes 31, uh, Geraint, who was the leader of Ineos, losing more than 4 minutes. Tadej 553 is by far the worst leader today. Um, well, I do have a random fitness, so maybe it was on minus five, eighty percent fitness, which definitely could have uh, could have helped, uh, or in my case, could have been detrimental to the Slovenian. Uh, but yeah, so crashes in the final corners do still happen every time I do one of these videos. Last year was Joe Almeida, this year is Jonas Vingor. That, however, marks the end of uh, this video, and I think the end of the gameplay videos on PCM 2023. Um, in the coming days, we'll have the start of the career mode. I still don't know who I'm going for, uh, but it's a continental pro team, so you know what, just shout names in the comments and maybe I'll find one that I like. However, if you've enjoyed today's video, then please do leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel and want to see more content heading into the brand new PCM 2023 game, then uh, feel free to subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I'll catch you in the very, very near future. My name is Guillaume, have an amazing day. See ya. Pass me the funk, get your funk on girl and don't you ever let Pass me it the go. funk, we're getting drunk